Well, hello, transporters. We find ourselves coming out of Erie, Pennsylvania, running into Buffalo, New York. And I'd mentioned once before that they had trucks called Bouncing Bettys and Jumping Jimmies and Fragile Loads. Well, <coughs> excuse me, today we have what's called a polecat. It has a big auger and a, uh, an extendable boom with a crane. You can see the hook and jaws on the front. But it is a uh, tandem axle, fairly heavy one for, for putting in really big high line poles. But the reason I got a hold of you today is, you can see that it's a rough ride. When this truck hits uh, like a bridge abutment or anything, it's sprung so heavy, because it's all wheel drive, the front axle drives too, that it literally jumps right up in the air and you never know exactly where you're gonna come down. Now, you can handle that because you expect it to come down in oddball places, called a jumping jimmy. Now, what we have is the thank you ma'am highway. Thank you, I didn't write this, I just saw, I just reporting it. Um, sorry for the jiggling camera and the rain. But if you can look in front of us, there's a truck, tractor trailer in front of us, and you can see that it's raining pretty good, but the highway's dry where the tires go down the road. We're on the New York State Thruway, and there is so much heavy traffic, and I'm talking really heavy trucks, that run down this right lane, that is just like a washboard from left to right. So the center of the highway is high, where the left set of tires are, are low, and the center is high, then another set of tires, and then the edge of the road is high. So, when you're going down the road, all of a sudden you feel the truck pulling one way or the other. Now we're in a, we're in a construction lane here, but still, you can see where the road is almost dry, right where the truck is running. In that right-hand lane, from all the heavy traffic, there's going to be grooves uh, for the dual tires in the road, and I'm talking they can be up to an inch and a half, two inches lower than the center of the road, called a thank you ma'am. Now when the tires get caught, especially the steer tires, which are the front tires, get caught in that groove, the truck wants to follow that groove uphill when you come to a curve it goes downhill and pulls you the other way very very easy to oversteer that vehicle because you're going back and forth back and forth back and forth and without experience this thing the truck is driving you you're not driving the truck so you can see this tractor trailer in front of us if you can hope you can he's having trouble keeping that in the center of the lane the trailer is pulling him all over the place now, your only defense in this is to run either to the left or the right so you're running halfway up the high side of the thank you ma'am. Now this is all, the repaving back there, this has all been repaved so it's not grooved as bad as I hope it was to show you. And you can see that truck is running just fine in front of us. Well, maybe he's not. But anyway, your best bet is to either get over to this side and run that white line so you're halfway up that middle groove and you're halfway up the edge of the groove on the side of the road. Either that or bring it over and crowd this uh, dotted line, which kind of scares the crap out of all the rest of the traffic. Now that truck's having a lot of trouble in front of it. Now, it really scares the hell out of the other traffic, but especially if you're towing a vehicle, my poor car behind us is getting jerked all over the place by that thank you ma'am groove in the road, that hump in the center, and the two places that the trucks have worn grooves in it. Now, another thing to consider, for all time, there's been dual wheels, dual tires on all the rear drive and tag and air axles 
but now they've come up with a big baloney tire that takes the place of both those duels. It doesn't really affect you except for these thank you ma'am. It's very hard to control that tire, that one tire in the groove, it's just like a car. You'll really notice it bad with a car. And if you can see that car in front of us running the high side, and when he doesn't, he's all over the place. Uh, I can't get close enough because he's going too fast. The other thing with those big baloney tires where one big tire replaces the dual is in heavy snow or slush, you are literally screwed. They have enough footprint on the road and they're not breaking up the uh, snow and slush between the two tires like in the old days. They float over the top and your hydroplaning is a serious concern even if you have brand new tread on the tires. So, just another thought while you're going down the road. I'll give you this and whatever pieces I come up with while I'm going down the road. Now, luckily enough, the wind is blowing like crazy today, which keeps us all over the place. And I'm going to crowd this right side of the road because the traffic's getting heavy. Here, you can see that again. You see that high side, the wet part in the middle? This road's already been pounded down by the heavy traffic. Now, when you've got heavy trucks with a good set of duels and you're over 30,000 pounds, 40,000, it's not such a big concern, this thank you ma'am on the highway, when another tractor trailer passes you going like a mad dog. But, if you are moving an RV, which some people call um, tinfoil on a roller skate, they don't weigh much and their wind resistance is horrible. And if you're crowding that line on the left side and the tractor trailer passes you, it'll suck that ass end right out of your groove and all of a sudden you've got a steering problem. You have to, uh, well, you're going to oversteer, but you have to get your butt out to the right side of that road uh, as soon as you can and maintain control. And if you have to, you're going to track the trailer there. He's a flatbed, says so no concern. But if you have to, head for the shoulder of the road and take those duels and the steer tire off the edge of the road until you can gain control and get away from that wind stream, the suction from the truck. Because like this one, when it passes you, it pushes you away. When it comes to the end of the truck, it sucks you in. If you're crowding that line, man, you've got your hands full. And I'm telling you, it can, it can almost, in a wet day like today, when the road has really been worn down smooth, it can literally suck you sideways right down the road. And at 65, 70 in a brand new RV, $500,000 RV or whatever, it can get a little bit scary. I'm just kidding you, it can change your religion and possibly your gender and your undergarments in two minutes. I hope that helps out on rainy days and uh, start paying attention to your thank you ma'am in the middle of the road.